What's up guys? This is the Kyber Cantina. My name is Max. We cover all sorts of nerdy things. We are at Sable Grove Media where we record all of our podcasts and we do all sorts of media. So if you need anything, let us know. We got you covered. I have Devin here today. Say hey, Devin. What's up, people? And I've also got baby Jamie. What's up, baby? Okay, yeah, so he doesn't do any talking. Let's go through our agenda. We're going to talk about some spoilers. First off, we're doing the Marvel trailers. So if you're that type of person who doesn't want like Marvel movies like ruined or any kind of movie ruined from a trailer, totally understand that. Truth be told, these movies do a lot better when you have the pre-knowledge because there's something to be excited about. And they're usually going to change a little thing in the story somewhere. So that's always good to like have the pre-knowledge. So I urge you. Even though you may be that type of person, go ahead, check these trailers out, come back, listen in. I'm going to be talking about spoilers in general, like in the podcast, but also in my life at the same time. And then, yeah, we're going to go through these. So come and check us out. So listen, I was checking out Wonder Woman 2. So we're going to do Wonder Woman 2 podcast, right? Okay. And I post things on Facebook. Okay. So like I'm watching these. My mom's like, listen, I want to know about Wonder Woman. You're a huge nerd. You know about these things. Let's watch these movies. So we watched the first one. We watched Batman v Superman. And I was like, listen, she can exist in this world where the Snyder cut is like the only cut. But we didn't watch Justice League. And I happened to post this on Facebook. And someone was like, spoilers. Because I said Superman dies. So she'll just be in a world where Superman dies. And this dude was like, hey. Spoilers. And I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> this came out four this years came out ago. so long this ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Four years ago. So, like, what does that mean? And he he was just like, I haven't seen it yet. I'm like, okay. That's on you, though, dude. That's on you. <laughs> if he cared enough. This has already been like yeah, a man. whole, like, this has already been like a whole uh, 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 thing that's like yeah. taken over our whole consciousness. Like, with the, the Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame movies and all that stuff. Right. Like, like, where are you, man? If, if, like, if how you, are you going to be mad at me after all this time? Even right. in just DC. It's your fault. It's your fault. Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey came out since Batman v Superman. I ain't seen that shit. It's really fun. It's way better than Suicide Squad. That's cool. It's it's bombing. Um, but let me think. Justice League came out. An Aquaman movie came out. I, two Wonder Woman movies to come out before at least the Snyder Cut. So I'm like... I'm here because I'm the Marvel guy. How long... Is too like how long is someone supposed to wait for spoilers, man? Four years? No. Like, uh, no. <laughs> they get they can fuck off. That's right. that's stupid. So like, um, I think maybe it's it's a it's a much shorter window than four years. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's like um, the when the movie if it's a little different in, in like COVID times and stuff. But, like, when a movie comes out, you should give everybody, like, maybe two to three weeks to see it. If it's a big movie. Like, like these comic book movies are big movies. So, you should give everybody, like, two to three weeks to see it. And then... You know what? You you don't got a spoiler tag stuff. At that point, if it matters to you, you should have already seen it. If, If we're talking about, like, two, three years and, like... I don't know, like, yeah, maybe we could extend that to, like, you gotta wait till it comes out, like, on DVD, on, like, home video and shit. But, like, that doesn't, that's not even how it works anymore, at least yeah. right now in COVID and stuff. Right, like, right. Wonder Woman came out at home and in theaters on the same day. So, like, stuff is different now. Yeah. But to bitch at somebody that something came out, like, three years yeah. later and you're like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. Dude, you you have you have no grounds. Yeah. You, you you cannot. That will not hold up in court, sir. So <laughs> like, with, with that stuff, someone spoiled something for you that came out years later. With stuff moving to like streaming and weekly episodes like Mando, how long would you wait then? Like if a Mando episode they come out on Friday, so like how long do you? Wait? Okay, yeah. And so if it's a weekly series, that's a little tougher. Because obviously you want to talk about stuff before the next episode comes out next week. Mm. I mean, I've been waiting until like like seven whole days. I'll, like, you know, if I had a thought, it'd be like Thursday. So let's just say that, that Mando comes out. When, what day does Mando come out? Friday. Friday. Fridays. Yeah. Mando comes out on Friday. 
I'm gonna I'm give it Wednesday. Okay. I'm I gonna say Thursday. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday, yeah, you can start talking time. about it openly without spoiler warning. Thing. But isn't that the whole point of spoiler warnings and stuff like that? Is that if someone's like, oh my God, I haven't seen Mando. You just turn it off. You run away. Yeah. You leave. I mean, but the expectation, I guess, was for me to say spoiler warning on Batman v Superman. So Okay, well, that's bullshit. I think we're all, <laughs> we're all in agreement that having to say spoiler warning for a movie that came out years ago is ridiculous. So look, spoilers for the Marvel trailers, okay? If you if you like don't want to know anything. It's not even spoilers anything. though. The trailers came out. They I want know, us to man, see this but shit, man. Gosh. All right, I'm going to stop being so sensitive. So, <laughs> let's see. Wanda comes out first, I think, January 15th off the top of my head. Okay. Um so let me ask you about this one cuz you're my Marvel person. I am like asking a whole lot of questions. There's like just stuff I do not know, right? There's two trailers. In one of them, like Vision's dead. And it's like going between black and white and like color and different like uh, eras and stuff. Yeah. Um, wh- wh- what is up with that? Like, why can't anyone like remember who they are? What's this connection with like, you know what I mean? Like, tell me, but tell me about this. Okay. what comes to mind. <clears throat> the big thing okay. is like pre-knowledge. That's what makes the Marvel movies better as opposed to the DC movies. So what comes to mind with WandaVision when you look at those? All right. So you're opening it up with like a big fat question. And it, it's 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 like it's yeah, like it's a loaded fat. concept. So I'll try I'll try to do like what I can. Okay. So you, you okay? So so you talk about all the different eras and like the black and white and the color and then all that stuff. So Wanda is having an absolute nervous breakdown. Okay. Her love vision is dead, and she in some form is bringing him back and and making themselves the perfect little life together yeah where they live in this like perfect little like sitcom kind of you know sitcom kind of reality right and then that jumps from a 60s version of a sitcom to a 70s version of a sitcom to blah 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 blah. It just keeps moving forward in time. From what I've seen, here's the thing: is one of the main reasons that it's such a loaded question is that we we don't fucking understand what the trailers are showing us. All of those Disney Plus trailers that they showed us give us very little actual nuggets of plot that we can hold on to it just kind of like makes us get a very general idea of like the style of the show right. like loki for example seems to be like some sort of heist yeah. show in a way yeah, yeah, or like this thing at the end right yeah or, or like yeah he's just the like kind of jumping thing. around doing his right. thing there's like some prison in there and yep. you know blah. does he go so, back to asgard yeah all that right stuff, like right at what the end. is it so because that's basically disney is like bro you love all these characters we don't have to tell you shit. <laughs> yes, right, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> like, we don't have to tell you no, anything, you're gonna watch and you it. will watch yep, the you'll watch show. It. You'll watch it. Like, for sure. Yeah. And I'm so, hoping and, they and keep like, secrets, man. Like, Grogu was a good secret. Right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and like, uh, they're getting smarter and smarter about that, I think, like, mm-hmm. overall, with these, like, big properties that, like, will... Uh, We'll let you know why you should be excited about this thing, but we're not going to really give the, like, really good nuggets of plot away. Like, if you go back and watch trailers for a movie that you've already seen from, like, the 80s or 90s or whatever, Mm -hmm. they give away the entire plot in the trailer. Even as recently as, again, BVS, man, they show you Doomsday in that one. And you can surmise. You can surmise Superman will die because that's how the pre-knowledge works with DC. Right. You know, if there's Doomsday, Superman gonna die. If there's an Amazo, there's an Ivo. All that stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so they're they're trying to get, um, and they're trying to get smarter with what they show in trailers. And they're, uh, th- th- I mean, they're going as far as like shooting fake scenes to put in trailers. Like we live in that world now, and that didn't exist before. It was used to just be pieces of the movie, it, and, and that's what the trailer is. But now they shoot things that are not in the movie yeah and uh so okay yeah so let's go back to wanda okay take me to wanda yeah take you to tell wanda me about Land. wanda because the mcu doesn't say a lot they don't even say scarlet witch 
in the MCU. Correct. And that's what I know really well. Correct. Right? So we don't know anything. Now you're throwing at me Wanda has uh what did you say altered reality reality altering power and that came from somewhere that came from house that i mean that that came from her own that came from her oh, fucking omega level mutant badass powers oh, but, okay yeah she's a mutant right she's yeah, a mutant she's a mutant yeah, yeah, yeah. and so that's a tricky thing but there, there's so much unravel here but yes wanda not scarlet witch wanda right the the MCU has never referred to Wanda Maximoff as the Scarlet Witch. Because her name is the Scarlet Witch, which is, when at surface value, is a little bit of a kind of uh, sinister, you know, kind yeah. of bad sounding name, right? The right. Scarlet Witch sounds like a, 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 a person from a horror movie or whatever. Um, so... Like, for example, my mom, my mom is kind of pretty into, like, all this Marvel stuff. Like, she loves the Guardians of the Galaxy, dude. Yeah. Like, she I loves too, them man. because it's got, like, a bunch of the music from, like, all the, the stuff that she loved back in the day. She loves Groot, thinks that he's adorable once he's baby Groot and all this stuff. And then we were talking about Avengers and shit like that. And she was like, um, I was talking to her about Scarlet Witch. And I was like, yeah, and then Scarlet Witch, like... In Avengers Infinity War, she, like, grabs that big-ass fucking, like, uh, uh, metal grinder-looking thing right. <laughs> from Thanos' aliens, yeah. and she slams it on that dude, and yeah. Okoye is like, why was she why, up there, why was she up there these whole time? <laughs> you know? And, uh, and I was talking this to my she, mom. She, she, she thinks they're so dumb. She already watched Banner fall. <laughs> you know, yeah. when he's running the Iron Man shit, she's like, dude, for real. Yeah. Why? And, We're fighting with them. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, and so obviously I didn't like spell it out for her that well, but she was like, "Who the fuck is the Scarlet Witch?" Yep. And I was like, "Scar, you know, Scarlet Witch, the chick in the red that does dope stuff." <laughs> and she was like, "She's like, I don't know," and like, she's never been referred to as Scarlet Witch yeah. in the MCU, and that that was kind of like a big moment for me that I was like, "Oh, she's not the Scarlet Witch yet. She's yeah. Wanda Maximoff." Because the Scarlet Witch, ladies and gentlemen, is is on the same level as Doctor Strange, or like she's she's at that level of like reality altering powers where she can bend the entire universe to her will. She's not just some chick that can make you have bad dreams in Age of Ultron, or some chick that can like make something really heavy look pretty light and slam it on some dude. She can alter the fabric of reality. She's a mm. big fucking deal. Yeah, she sounds scary. <laughs> she's a big. So when is deal. this like? When has this happened, or like, what are repercussions to this? Like, they're they're definitely going after something that's been done right because this is how they roll right so it's similar to civil war civil war they got the point across cap side versus iron man side they're fighting each other because they don't believe the same things and they are fighting each other because of essentially because of winter soldiers involvement in tony stark's mother's murder that's essentially what Civil War is about. Yeah. And then Zemo and then comes the, in there. Well, and the Accords, man. The Accords, right? The, the, oh, yeah, right. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, the, right, right. The, the, the Accords. Accords. <laughs> ba basically, to any to any re like people that read a lot of the comic books and shit, we all know <laughs> that the Civil War movie is very not like the Civil War comic books. But anyway, that's the point I'm trying to make. The, the What I'm saying is that what they're going to do is they're gonna take the overall idea mm. of House of M and they're gonna kind of infuse a lot of those story elements into WandaVision. Because in my opinion, House of M is like the like definitive how powerful is Wanda Maximoff. House mm. of M tells you how okay. powerful Wanda Maximoff is. Like Oh man, it's such a journey. It's such a journey. But 
it's, throw down the highlights. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to even like decide where to start. But like, it starts with Wanda Maximoff giving birth. Word, because in the trailer she's like, "Yes, I've got kids. Yes, I'm married." A ring pops up. There's babies here and there. All right, so tell me about them kids. Wanda is giving birth. It's very intense. It's like maybe like a couple because you know as giving, birth is give, giving birth is kind of an intense thing, bro. Mm. It's kind of fucking intense. Indeed, indeed. And I so, have not lived my life in fear of having to do that. Ever. <laughs> Luckily, so I never will, out. sir. Yeah. But I'm about it. She's giving birth to twins because you know yeah. she's a twin. And she's a twins twin. are cool. Yeah, yeah, twins are cool. <laughs> she's like that'd be cool. So she's giving birth <laughs> to twins and Xavier. You see him in his little fucking rolly little wheelchair oh, yeah, off yeah. to the side. Stuart and McAvoy. Scru- okay. <laughs> but like, well, but like well, yeah, yeah. comics version uh, oh, of word, Xavier. Word. You know, real Xavier. I'm going to pick the cartoon one. That's fine. No, 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 no. That's accurate. That's the one that you should pick. I'm down. Correct. You got to know it by the theme song. So him. Okay. Um... He's off to the side while Scarlet Witch is giving birth, screaming at her. He's like, Wanda, screaming this at her must mid-birth. stop. Mid-birth. That's really mid-birth. inappropriate. He's like, Wanda, you have to stop. This is not right. You know this is wrong. This is not happening. You are you are manipulating the world. Stop doing what you're doing right now. And you're like, uh, this bitch is giving birth. Like, this is a big moment for her. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, yeah, like, but no, he's like, no. You must stop. Stop it right now. And all of this. Well, yeah. yeah, it turns out this is all in her brain. She's mm. having a nervous breakdown. So, yeah, that and is And this is one of her yeah. hallucinations one that of. she is having. He said one of. One of. Yeah. One of her hallucinations where she is giving birth to two twins. Yeah. Ass- they don't They don't explicitly say this, but I'm, uh, you know, assuming that it's her and Vision's children. Right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the so, House of M. In House of M. Yeah, and we're, this we're, is a this, this is, is House a of graphic M. novel by yeah. someone, or it's like a series. This, yeah, this, 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 I mean, no, it, because it, an ex girlfriend of yours explained this to me very drunkenly once, like seven years ago. <laughs> That's all I remember. You know which one? It could. Be. You um, were about to say it could be. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No. 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 This is not. Uh, cause, cause, cause yeah, in your context, a graphic novel could be like a story that is outside of like the main Marvel continuity. No, it is, it is a thing that actually happened in the Marvel continuity. Okay. Scarlet Witch lost her fucking mind and then the following happened. Okay. Like this is a real thing that happened. So the story starts this way though. The story, story starts this way. And then so, yeah, so, so you see her losing her mind. You see, you see Professor X, whatever. Okay. So. Then you get like a, a, a text explanation of what's going down. Uh, uh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. As I apologize do. for this, but I did not read the story previous. So this story starts with the fact that Scarlet Witch is in a very fragile state. She is basically losing control of her powers. She's become very Un- unpredictable. Unstable, yeah. Unstable, okay. unpredictable. And she killed Avengers. She killed heroes. She killed Hawkeye. Mm. Um, she killed Vision, and she killed Ant Man in this epic battle that happened before issue number one. Which I'm sorry that I did not read, but I'm sure it was dope. And so, <laughs> I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was dope. And so she killed Vision, and you know. Her love, See, that's, Vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She killed him. She, okay, we I, don't know why. She, All right, fine, we, fine, fine. And we don't know why. And I'm really sorry that I can't, like, give you a bunch of information on how that whole thing went down. But at the time, back in the day when I read this, I, I didn't pick that up. And so I just I just didn't go back. I just didn't go backwards. It's fine. So, We're moving forward. She, yeah. So she killed Vision. She killed Ant-Man. She killed Hawkeye. So, Hawkeye, uh, 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 Professor Xavier screaming at her. Whatever. So... Fast forward a little while. Yeah. The Avengers and the X-Men have come together. Uh Uh-huh. Which is rare, bro. The Avengers and the X-Men do not get along. They all fight for good and all that shit. But they they do not get along. (laughs) Like, they they always 
they always find a way to not see to eye, eye to eye. Yeah. Always, Cyclops and 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 Captain America are always looking each other in the eyes. Like, yeah, I like mm, that's that's funny. fuck you. Yeah. Like that, that, that's the way it always is. Like, there's there's stories in the future where Cyclops kills Captain America and all. all but this arguably, shit. That's, also that's all Cyclops does is you know look everyone in the eye. He's kind of a dick. Yeah, that's true. But but yeah, with he's got his he got his visor. Yeah, and he feels like he's got. If a joke is a three or better, I'll tell it. (laughs) So okay, so yeah, so all that shit happens. The Avengers and the X Men are coming together to decide the fate of Wanda Maximoff, Mm. which is something that they don't really do. Mm -hmm. To say, should we kill this person? Is she too dangerous for the entire world? They did this to the Hulk, which sets off the the plot of Thor Ragnarok. It's kind of like oh, a... Oh, the Planet Hulk stuff. The Planet Hulk yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of Why like a bullshit leave? continuity okay. thing that they did. I mean, it, it makes sense. Uh, instead of the Hulk um, just uh, deciding... To leave, uh, to pe- leave the in the Quinjet, not, and then yeah. like he's kind of like waving to, right. or no, he sees well, he, sees, he sees, Natasha sees Natasha Romanoff, and then he turns the screen like, off. Nah, I'm gonna stay and he's like, fuck that, away. and he goes up into space, yeah. and that's that sets I'm off Thor Ragnarok. Huge hot. Tub. In the comics, what happened was there was a group called the Illuminati, <laughs> oh. and it was uh, uh, Reed Richards, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, uh, T'Challa. Uh, these are, Tony these Stark are really they, heavy yeah. hitters, but yeah, it's like the the most important bitches. Yeah, and they all these shot bitches. fucking Hulk up into space. Wow. All right. So this is another one of those meetings where like we don't do this a lot, but it but shit just yeah. Got and that real. was with or without Banner's permission. Were they like oh, without his permission? Okay, they shot him into space. They were like fuck. They you were like right. okay. Yep. So we so, are deciding the fate of Wanda, of Wanda Maximoff, Maximoff because she is a crazy person. She's a crazy person and she has the power to destroy all of reality around her. And so they basically, they can't decide. Cap's like, there's always a way. Spidey's like, I don't know, man, this is fucked up. Wolverine's like, let's murk that bitch. Uh, you, 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 they're all, they're all, uh, they're all undecided. So they decide that, by the way, uh, when she's giving birth in the very beginning, she's like up at the top of a tower, right? Kind of very, very princess-like. She's at the very top of the highest room of the tallest tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) And she's uh, 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 in Genosha, which is the mutant homeland uh, heaven. Not heaven. That's stupid. It's uh, it's, uh, the greatest... uh, Mutant Utopia? Yeah, Utopia. There yeah. you go. That's the word I'm looking mutant for. Utopia. It's the Mutant Utopia. Mu- Utopia. Humans and mutants have been fighting forever about what, w- who should rule, uh, whether hu- mutants should be uh, treated equally. Eventually, in different storylines, they say, fuck that. We're going to Genosha. We're going to make our own planet. So that's where she is. They go there, the Avengers and the X-Men and shit. They go there and they uh, uh, try to confront Wanda and... All at once, they just disappear in the blink of an eye. Mm. There's just a white flash, and they all okay. gone. They all gone. And the last one what left happened? is my boy Peter Parker. Uh, is the last one left. Okay. So we start the second issue. Yeah, yeah. With Peter Parker waking up. Peter Parker wakes up. The entire where well, this is where it gets good. The entire world is completely different. Yeah. The entire world. Okay, what does that the mean? The whole <laughs> world is a new planet Earth. She created okay. a new planet Earth where all of the Avengers, all the X-Men, anyone that she's ever come in contact with, yeah. they got exactly what they wanted. Mm. Okay. So what happens to like Iron Man? Iron Man's one is kind of like, meh. But he's like, he's like the... He's... Uh, I, Iron Man is basically like the richest person in the world. He controls basically every company ever. It's like a big conglomerate. He, you know, he's basically yeah, the most Tony Stark like he's ever been. Economy, that one's kind of yeah. shitty. But Steve Rogers is—he yeah. he lived happily ever after with Peggy. He—he he became an old man. He was never. He was never frozen and then unfrozen and had to become Captain America and do all his Avengers bullshit. He right. just retired an old man and lived a happy life, and that's yeah. it. 
right? right? And then like like Peter Parker, Uncle Ben never died. Aunt May and Uncle Ben live a comfortable life and they're mm. they're doing fine. And uh 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 he but married Peter's aware of this? No. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Nobody knows. Really? And it's, nobody and it's from knows. his perspective, but nobody actually knows. Nobody knows. Interesting. Nobody knows anything. Wow. Everything is beautiful. Everything is going great. It's the most awesome, beautiful, dopest planet Earth you've ever seen. Yeah. Okay? And Charlotte Witch created that. So, yeah. Just, well, yeah, we'll just wrap up. Peter Parker married Gwen Stacy. He has a son named Richie, which implies that he has a relationship with his actual parents mm. Richard and Mary Parker right. right so he has an actual relationship with his father Richard and so uh, 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 and then meanwhile Mary Jane is like the biggest actress in the entire world and she you know mm. she's so fucking famous everyone gets what and they want everyone gets what they want so they do everyone thing gets for what they all want. the mutants do they really Everybody. go in depth like every what like Fantastic Four like everyone oh shit well the Fantastic Four they, it didn't work out so well for the Fantastic Four uh. I don't know why she decided that that's kind of an interesting plot hole. I never thought about that. The Fantastic Four, them bitches died. <laughs> they died. They just died. They went up oh. on, on their space expedition to go up there, <laughs> where they like got, <laughs> where they got shot with radiation and got super cool powers. Wow. It didn't happen. They just died of radiation poisoning. <laughs> like that's just it. <laughs> Yeah. But okay, so that's a little bit of a plot hole, but right. everybody got what they wanted. Okay. Right. Every, yeah. every, everybody everybody, sure, 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 sure. everybody else got what they wanted. So so yeah, so Scarlet Witch created this whole this whole reality. Okay. And so I didn't reveal the biggest thing is that Magneto mm-hmm. is the fucking king of the entire world. Okay. Magneto is it. The the house of Magnus. That's why it's called House of M. Oh, okay. This is House why, of yeah. M is the name like, of the comic book. It's called House of M because right. it's the House of Magnus. House yeah. of Magnus is Magneto's entire regime over the entire fucking earth. Mm, okay. So, um, you know, he, yeah, he's got like 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 a squad of mostly X Men. Yeah, Nightcrawler, Rogue, uh, Toad, which is kind of funny, uh, uh, Wolverine. There's somebody else. There's some other people in there, but whatever. Wolverine snaps to it just like he did in Days of Future Past. He knows what the hell is going on. Oh, okay. And so he just like snaps to it. And oh yeah. And uh, by the way, <laughs> uh, mutants are the dominant species. Okay. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. Mutants are the dominant species. Magneto is at the very top, and he rules the entire world. And mutants are in charge of everything. Everyone that isn't a mutant, they call sapiens or sapes yeah. or whatever. They're the minority. That's us. Right. That's us. That's and that's also like Hawkeye and like other people yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, yeah. like other heroes that we love that aren't mutants. Mm. So they're the minority. They're getting shit on all the time. And uh, so, okay. So yeah, Magneto rules the whole world. Da, 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 da. Um, Pietro. Sorry, we got we to gotta go back a little bit. Pietro, Quicksilver. Yeah, her brother. Her brother. Right. Also Magneto's son. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this isn't part of the MCU, which is important to distinguish for people that don't know that, that Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, and Pietro Maximoff, Quicksilver, are 100% mutants. They are X-Men in the Marvel Universe. But in the movies, they were just like, eh, because at the time that they made Age of Ultron, they did not have the rights to right. them being mutants. Yeah. So they might change they that now that they have the rights. Right. But whatever. Didn't we? Yeah. So anyway. We did see that coming. Uh, yeah. Pietro and Wanda, um, they're together. Pietro's screaming and shit. And he screams at, 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 at Magneto. And he's like, you know, listen, they're going to kill her. You have to do something. He was like, what would you have me do? They have the entire, like, superheroes that have ever fucking existed to, to come kill her because she's too dangerous. And he's like, you know, what would you have me do? Pietro's like, I'll find a way. So he goes. He tells Wanda that he will find a way and that she has the power to change the entire world to whatever she wants it to be. Like she's it's it's this such an emotional for state. This whole thing, yeah. Yeah, the whole the whole point is is to talk about Wanda. I went on a bit of a tangent because the story's really great. But Wanda but No, it explains so much about the right. trailer. But it all comes you know? down to Wanda. It comes down to Wanda. 
Mm -hmm. Um, So he explains to her that you can change the entire world. You can make Magneto happy. You can you you can make the mutants the gods that we think that we're supposed to be because X Men are always trying to like uh, prove that they are worthy or Magneto's always trying to prove that that mutants are superior. So Pietro says you can make everybody happy if you just give everyone what they want. Just mm. fix the world. Yeah. Just do it. You have the power to do it. Fix the world. Just do it. So that's what starts this whole thing. And so she does it. Okay. Yeah. And so all she right. does it. So on that note, that's all for this one. Uh, but Devin's going to come back again. We're going to continue the Marvel trailer discussion and get into the other ones. But we're going to try and wrap up the House of M stuff too, because that definitely explains what's going on in that trailer. So I hope you enjoyed this so far. And uh, until our paths cross. <laughs> <laughs>